Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is The Force of Chronicles. I am Tiffany of The Force of Chronicles and I did a poll on our Instagram. If you're not following us, go follow to see if people were interested in me doing a short clothing haul on some of the items that I've picked up for our upcoming trip to Bali. And overwhelmingly the response was yes. So here you go. Um, this is my first time doing like a clothing haul. It won't really be a try on haul, um, but if you're interested in seeing how I pull the looks together, make sure you subscribe because we post travel vlogs so you'll be able to see me in the item, how I accessorize it type of thing um, when you watch our travel vlog come along with us in Bali. So um, if you're interested in knowing what I picked up for the trip, stay tuned. So we're going to first start with accessories, then we're going to move to some clothing items I picked up, um, then some cover-ups, and then some swimsuits. So first item, oh, and I'll link them down below if I can find them on the website. Some of these things came from places like Ross, so I really can't link it, but you know, you can go to your local Ross to see if you can find it if you like it. The first item is a necklace that I picked up for, from Forever 21. This was $7.99, um, and it's really simple gold necklace that I thought would be really cute uh, with some of the items I purchased. So really like it. I'm really into gold. I'm trying to buy more silver stuff, but I get drawn to gold accessories for some reason. So <laughs> with the gold theme, here are some earrings I also picked up um, from Forever 21. These were $5.99 and I just like the pattern on them. I think they'll look really good with the faux locks. Any, any hairstyle really, but I, I just really like them a lot. Then we have these sunglasses. Uh, I have way too many sunglasses, y'all. I'm addicted. I got these from H&M. I forgot how much I paid for them, but yeah, I, can't, I forgot how much they were. They're cute though. All right, give it to them. Give it to them. <laughs> okay, uh, now for a purse. Uh, I really, I'm going to pick one of these up in Bali as well because they have some good ones, but I, saw this for like $12 on a site called Shein and it's just one of the trendy uh, purses right now so you could either carry it on your shoulder you can do it crossbody or you can put this on the inside and kind of just carry it like this as well so I thought that was really cute it was inexpensive you can these can be a little costly and so I was happy when I saw this for like $11.99 $12 um, on Shein so if I can still find this on the site, I'll link it below. And the last accessory item is, <laughs> is a bit odd. Um, it's not really an accessory, but I didn't know what other category to put it in. So our flight to Bali will be a total flight time of 23 hours. We'll lay over in Dubai for one hour and then we'll continue on to, to, um, to Bali. With that being said, there's been so much you can do to be comfortable for when you're flying for 23 hours. I mean, you can sleep but so much, you can watch movies but so much, but one thing that you have to really pay attention to in those long haul flights is making sure, of course, you're not dehydrated, you're keeping your water tank intake up, but making sure you're also moving around and letting your blood flow so you don't get blood clots and stuff. So I heard about people getting a like leg rest. Um, so I bought this off of Amazon. And um, I like this particular one because it's memory foam. So this one was $19.99, but there were some for $9.99 and $7.99 that's not the memory foam, but I felt like the 10 extra bucks would make it more comfortable. You clip this on the tray table, on your tray table, and then um, you just, you know, put your foot in it and you're able to elevate your feet from time to time on the flight. So I'm really excited about putting this to use. Of course, I'll keep y'all updated in the travel box to see if it's, um, it actually works or not, but I'm excited about using this. Okay, now let's move on into some actual clothing items. Here are the items that I purchased specifically for this trip. Some other items I didn't purchase just for Bali, so I'm showing you what I purchased just for Bali. First is my birthday dress. Um, don't this look like the emoji dress though? <laughs> the salsa dancing emoji dress. Anyway, so I tried this on. It looks bomb. I, I love it. I got this off of Shein in a size large and um, I love it. I'm going to wear this on my actual birthday in Bali. And I'm going to just be looking like a hot tamale, y'all. For real. Get into it. Next item I picked up from Ross. It's another dress. And it's really cute. It, um, 
has this tie here, accent piece that goes like, you know, right around your bosom. Nice dress, burnt orange in color. I got this in a size medium from Ross. These are some shorts I picked up from Ross in a size large. I just thought the floral pattern and the colors just said Bali. I love it. So cute. <laughs> a lot of stuff is from Ross or Sheehan. Um, this one, what size is this? Also a large. A must up romper I picked up. I like the bow on the sleeves. Next item, also from Ross, you guessed it. <laughs> size extra large in this one. Just a dress. If y'all can't tell, I love the color mustard. I just love it on my skin tone. Um, so, if you see a lot of mustard, that's why. Here's this dress here, and I love the gold buttons in the front. They go down the middle. Next, I bought from Shein in a size... Uh, it says US 8. This just ran large. I'm not normally a size 8. Um, so this just ran big, so I sized down. Um, but it's a long, flowy dress. Like, long. <laughs> if you all have seen Bali videos, you know that people often go to the Bali swing and they, you know, have the long, flowy dress flowing in the picture in the Bali swing. So I really wanted something for that and kind of where we're like touring because it's super comfortable. I'm going to uh, dress it up a, a tad bit by putting a belt around the waist and just doing like a simple, very simple necklace. But it's so comfortable and so airy and flowy. I love it. It was exactly what I was looking for for that. And then the last clothing item that I picked up for this trip is this dress, also from Shein in a size large. I love the stripe. And I love when stripes go down. I think it accentuates the body a little more than the cross stripes, especially when you're heavy chested like I am. So I love this. I love the V-neck. I love the bottom part. We're going to be going on this, um, this lunch on a, it's not a boat on the sea. It's kind of like a lagoon. And so it's kind of like a paddle boat, but we won't really be paddling much. Like we can paddle, but we're kind of, we'll be eating and stuff. So It'll make sense when you saw to see it in the vlog, but I thought this was going to be perfect for that. Okay, so next up and the last items I'll show are the swimsuits and the cover-ups. Um, these are just the two new cover-ups I bought, but like I said, I'm taking more. Um, the first one is from Shein. I got this in a size small because when I was reading the reviews on Shein, and I love when I go up, and this is not sponsored by Shein or Ross or anything like that. But when I want to go on the website, you can look at the reviews and some people post pictures and it's really helpful. Um, so I got this in a small because they said it ran really big and it's nothing worse than having a cover up. Like you want it to cover you and be flowy, but not too flowy. Like it still need to be a little bit form fitting so you feel sexy, you know, like you don't want to feel boxy. So that's why I got a size small in this and I just love the print on it. I'll be pairing this with this black bikini here. I got this from Fashion Nova, and it's a, it goes in large, so it's a size large, and it's just a really simple, like, simple two-piece, nothing special, but when I tell y'all this sucks you in, honey, it's going to pair well with that cover. Uh, the next cover is also from Shein, in size medium, white, I love the sleeve here, and then it has this detail at the bottom that matches the detail that's going down the center with the v-neck it's really cute on okay and last up are some of the swimsuits that i purchased um if you all are new to the channel uh i have i'm blessed up top <laughs> and if you all aren't new to the channel i'm pretty sure you all have known i'm blessed up top so with that being said it's super difficult like y'all understand it's so difficult to find swimsuits when you are blessed at the top like seriously um y y you know you can't you don't want something that's that's making your boobs droop down you got to hold it up but you want it to be cute it's, it's difficult but I, my friend she introduced me to this um company called fig leaves and they do the sizing according to your bra size 
And I know that there's some others that do bra sizes, but this company does like all bra sizes. Like if you're large chested, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> all of them. So like this one, literally they have like G's and H's and I's and J's, all that stuff. Like the cup sizes are the variety. And they also have A cup, B cup, C cup, but that stuff is not difficult to find. You can literally find that anywhere. So I'm, that's why I'm emphasizing the larger cups. Y'all, um, <laughs> I'm a 34. I ain't gonna tell y'all my cup size though because I don't need y'all judging me. Y'all wouldn't believe me if I told you. So anyway, so here's the first top, bikini top. And all of these have matching bottoms. So I'm just gonna show you the top and then they all literally have the matching bottom to go with it. So I just love this, you guys. It just screams vacation and Bali. I love the gold detail down the middle. Oh my gosh. And this can be worn without the straps or it comes with the straps. So I like the option because I'm, I need my straps, okay? But <laughs> if you order this, you can wear it without the straps as well, but I need the straps, okay? And then you can also cross the straps in the back too. You don't have to wear it like this. So you can, you know, play around with it. So I think that's gonna be really cute. I'm excited about that. This next one, I bought the bikini top, but I already have a pair of red bikini bottoms that I've worn before that I'm gonna just pair with this. I just wanted a different top. It's going to be hard to hold this up, y'all. I should have put a hanger on this or something. Okay, so this is this top. So it's stripe. It crosses. And then your arm goes in here. So it kind of drapes off of your arm. Real nice, like. I hope I hope y'all are getting the visual. It's, it's difficult to hold, the, hold this up so you can see it. I know it's a lot of cloth, honey. You got to cover all of this. And then the last bikini... Um, also with just the matching bottom is this one and it's funny because this one on the site is actually called Bali bikini <laughs> it's not why I got it I just like the pattern but um, this one also like the other one you can wear without the strap you don't need the strap if you don't want to but and actually you guys I wore I tried this on without the strap and it actually held my boots up so I'm telling you check it out y'all but I'm still going to wear the strap though because it holds it up even more and that's what I need um, so yeah, and then it just comes with the matching bottom. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that haul. Um, I know that sometimes people try on the clothes as they're doing the haul. This is already my first haul, so I got to take baby steps, y'all. I'm not ready. To, it's, it's hot. It'd be hot. I don't, it's, pray for me and maybe that'll come in the haul. If, if I get enough views and likes and people appreciate this haul, maybe I'll do more when I go on vacations and make it like a thing that I do and actually incorporate a try on. Um, to it but um, let me know what you all think let me know what your favorite item was and again if I can find things on the sites then I'll link it down below all right see you guys in Bali